I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 14. Welcome to Active Faith. Today, for some reason, I was hearing these two words over and over again, everywhere I turn. Formation and transformation. So in my spirit, I was feeling uh, something is something is missing. You know, the formation and transformations are good. But this is not the complete story that I'm hearing. So as I'm uh, going through my day, I'm asking the Lord. I'm saying, Lord, there is something missing here. There is, I'm not hearing the, the full story. I don't know what it is, but I know in my spirit something is missing. So uh, why don't you tell me? Why don't you tell me? Uh, I cannot figure this thing out. If you tell me, I would know. So I spent the whole day, uh, you know, going on my bit, my business, and uh, you know, inside, outside, and and, and doing all, all sorts of things. At the end of the day, when I came inside the house, all of a sudden, good Lord, out of His mercy, uh, He gave me the the last piece of the puzzle. And the last piece of the puzzle is transportation. That's what he was telling me. So all of a sudden in my spirit, I felt like this is the completion of, of what I was hearing all day long. So I said, you know what, let me just, uh, you know, sit down and put all of these things together. Let's see what the Lord is trying to tell us about this one. So today we are going to talk about formation transformation and transportation so if you like uh, let's go ahead and talk about formation when I when I think about formation formation is the the is as everybody knows uh, that the key word for formation is to 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 form to be formed so uh, it's it's creation uh, formation, creation, uh, very similar words. So God himself created this world that we know. In Genesis 1, uh, we are reading that uh, this world has been created by God. He goes through six days and that seventh day he relaxes and then he looks back and he says, you know, he sees his creation and he says, mm, oh, this is, this is good. You know, after everything, he creates everything, you know, he turns back and says, this is good. You know, on a second day, that's the formation of earth. Uh, and as we know it, um, earth and heavens, to be exact. And then on the second day, the Lord is creating man. Uh, and then shortly after that, he realizes that uh, Adam is alone and he needs helper and he creates woman to help the man that he created. So the, that's the formation of formation of earth. And then on the second is the formation of mankind. So every single person who is breathing on this earth is basically, that's the formation. That, that's where our birthplace is, is coming from. God creating Adam. So God created and formed Adam into his image. And he breathed life into him. Uh, all of a sudden, the mankind basically became a living being. So that, that's how, as, as we all know, uh, that's how uh, the formation is, uh, is you know, is, is, did, did take place. 
So when I'm thinking about all of this, you know, that formation, we didn't have much of a control in that formation simply because God has created uh, man and, and, and woman and heaven and earth. So everything has been created for us. So formation, we don't have much of a control into formation simply because everything has been done for us. You know, it's, it's the gift of uh, God to mankind, creating anything and everything. So that's the formation part. The transformation part, however, we have all the control. As a matter of fact, we are in 100% of control when it comes to transformation. We are, we are formed. Now we are swimming in our sin and we need a savior. We cannot save ourselves and we need a savior. And who is that savior? That savior is Jesus Christ who, who came to uh, wipe off the sins of this world and, and take our sins unto him so that we would be sinless. So in order to achieve what God had promised us and offered us and still offering us today is the transformation. So our sinful nature turning into sinless nature and the bridge in between is Christ Jesus. So if we accept Christ, and Bible is so clear on this one, um, then we are a new creation in Christ. But in that, we have to make that decision on our own. There is no force. There is a lot of encouragement from God and, and our Lord jesus christ he wants us to come he is inviting us to come but he never forces us to come so in order to be transformed and then you could say hmm, who's going to be trans transformed you know uh, can christian be transformed or do you have to be from different religion or do you have to be in different mindset who could be transformed what is this transformation is all about well, this transformation is all about everybody. You know, you could be Christian and you could still need a transformation. Or you could be non-Christian and you could be transformed into Christianity. And not only into Christianity itself, but the mindset, the following Christ model. Or... Anybody and everybody is eligible for this transformation. So unless we go through this transformation, uh, which we have full control over, uh, we are still swimming in our sinful nature. So in order to get rid of sinful nature, we have to, we have to, we must be transformed into this new life that Jesus is uh, offering us. So, um, in order to do that, we have to, you know, Bible is telling us that we need to confess our sins with our mouth and believe in our heart that Jesus Christ came and died for our sins so that we could be saved and bible says it this way whoever confesses with their mouth and uh, believes in their heart will be saved and i love that whoever portion of it because it's not for certain people or you don't have to be uh, you don't have to have this certain um, uh, qualifications to get all of these benefits uh it's 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 whoever you know the the is 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 uh, basically jesus is saying you know whoever wants to come and follow me uh, i'll i will be i will be with him and romans 
12, 2, um, this transformation is explained really well, as a matter of fact, in Romans 12, 2, and it says, and do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the perfect will of God. So perfect will of God, how do we come to this perfect will of God? We have to go through this transformation. So whoever we are, we must be transformed into uh, this new life, a new, new lifestyle. So that's the trans transformation part. And then the transportation part is, again, it is, it is uh, one of the most amazing things because whoever was born one day will die. There is no ifs or buts about it. And nobody can beat the system. And uh, we are all in this together. So regardless who you are, rich, makes no difference poor makes no difference uh very talented no difference uh you don't have much of a talent in life honestly makes no difference because when the day comes we have to go through and pass to different life so uh, in reality it's called either heaven or hell one of one of those you know it's it's there is, there is a place that we are going. Uh, some people, they don't understand or they don't want to understand in reality. Uh, and, you know, it, it's very common amongst mankind to say, oh, you know what, eat, drink and be merry because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, well, that's kind of um, a foolish way of thinking because we do know what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, how do we know? We know through the Bible, and Bible is is very clear about you know what happens on you know, the judgment day, and not on the judgment day, but uh, you know uh, on on Matthew twenty five, thirty one and thirty three, it is explaining like this: when the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, He will sit on His glorious throne. And all the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates sheep from the goat. He will put the sheep on the on his right, and the goats on his left. So is this, you know, this is only one of the Bible verses. There are hundreds of Bible verses uh, proclaiming this. Uh, but I'm just, you know, I'm just choosing one. Uh, so uh, if you go through your Bible, you will see uh, there is a day that we have to go in, in one place or another, knowingly or, or unknowingly. So there is, there is not much of an excuse for that, you know, you're not gonna have uh, enough time to say, "Oh, you know, I didn't know." The, the the fact that you're watching this video or you have heard about it, you really cannot uh, 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 go in front of God and say, "You know what? I didn't know, Lord." Uh, you have heard about it, but you have hardened your heart, and you don't want to be transformed and and renew your mind. Uh, to follow Christ, so for that reason, you will be uh, left behind if you choose that way, or if the other side of the coin is that, you know, if if uh, you know you're being transformed uh, into this new life, into this new Christian uh, way of living, uh, not only the Christian way of living, but uh, the uh, the Christ way of living, you know, so. Most of the time, we go through life and we don't understand the the the, the destination. Uh, in in a lot of things we do in life, uh, there is a goal. If we have the goal, 
that we have to achieve this goal in this time frame, then that will give us a lot of guideline. But if we don't have that goal or if we don't have the guideline, basically we will be you know, scattered all over and we will not get the blessing and we cannot be transformed in with that mindset and just because we have been formed which we had no control but we reject the trans, uh, transformation our transportation which means the final destination basically final destination we are uh, we are bringing the final destination into our future with our own hands, uh, sort of speak, uh, simply because it's not, um, you know, rejection is, is, is not a problem for God, but it's a problem, you know, for you and me. We cannot, we don't have the luxury of rejecting God's invitation. So today, He is inviting you and me, He is inviting each one of us into His kingdom. And He is asking us again and again to be transformed. If you are transformed today, uh, God bless you, you are on the right track and you are walking with the Lord. And, and keep walking um, and keep growing in him because uh, uh, destination is is in the near future but for any reason if you are not transformed yet today is the day if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that he died for your sins that automatically you will be saved and that's only the entrance into the kingdom and then you start walking with the Lord little by little every single day you keep renewing your mind until the transportation day comes and that's that will not be the judgment day for the believer anymore but that that will be the day for the for the glory of the Lord to shine upon you if you are transformed. Thank you. And I pray that uh, you will make that decision today if you have not made yet. And um, join the kingdom of God. Doors are open. He's waiting for you. He says, I'm knocking on the door. Whoever opens the door, I will come in and eat with them. And that is the promise that we can bank on. So knock on the door, come in. He's waiting for you. Be blessed. May the blessings of the Lord be with you and be with your family and be with your surroundings. And may the Lord bless all the days of your life.